Rick Sky here, and I want to explain in simplistic terms how to fix a problem where you've got dead spots in your office or your home when it comes to Wi-Fi, wireless internet. So it may be a situation where you've just got a small area. It may be a situation where you've got multiple areas that are Wi-Fi dead spots. And just that little bit of, of intermittent, intermittent connectivity issues, especially if you're doing uh, you know, a lot of uploading, downloading, maybe some sort of live streaming of video where those intermittent drops can really create problems. There's a simple solution. And the good thing is it doesn't have to be that expensive. There's a lot of people that may try to sell you a complicated installation, uh, an expensive set of equipment. But the bottom line is that I was able to accomplish it at a very affordable price. And you can check the link within this video's description to find the equipment that I use. But I'm going to explain in simplistic terminology how I use this equipment. So my existing setup for wireless internet was just the wireless coming from the, uh, the service provider's box. You know, the thing that your cable company or your phone company comes and puts in and they say, this is your, this is your gateway. You know, this is your wireless, uh, your wireless box, whatever they want to call it. That's all that I had. So obviously with that wireless gateway, provided by my broadband provider, it had limited coverage area. So it was limited enough to where if I was at a certain location that my internet, my wireless internet, would intermittently flake out. And that was problematic for me because I do a lot of YouTube. You know, I'm uploading videos, they time out because the Wi-Fi connection intermittently broke. I'm trying to do a live stream, the same thing happens. So it can create a lot of problems. So don't be mistaken, even if you have a little bit of wireless signal in a certain area, that doesn't mean that it's perfect. And what's great about a wireless range extender is that it enables people to better eliminate those dead spots. Now, my location, I'm kind of a unique situation because every room, I have a, uh, a network jack on the, in the wall. So the good thing about this device, this wireless range extender that I use, is that there's a few ways you can use it. One way you can use it is to connect to your existing internet, you know, your broadband provider's box, gateway, whatever you want to call it, and modem, you know, whatever term they want to use, and it can retransmit that, uh, that signal but make it stronger. So that would be your wireless adapter, like the one I'm talking about within this video's description, talking wirelessly to your internet service provider's modem, gateway, box, whatever you want to call it. You know, that box they gave you when they set up your service. So that's one way to do it. But the other way, and this is how I did it with mine since my house is wired with, uh, with network jacks in the wall, I plugged it into a power outlet, plugged it into the network jack in the wall, and then it became an access point, meaning that it's communicating through a wired network to that box. That the, uh, that the internet service provider provided. So I'm getting, I'm eliminating having to have the wireless to wireless connection. So it's just, it's creating an access point, a wireless access point within a different location. So that way I'm able to get coverage in all my dead spots. There were a lot of dead spots I had. I've completely eliminated that. And the good thing is it didn't break the bank. Now there's a lot of brands of wireless extenders out there that are super expensive. And I'm not saying they're bad or they're good. There's a lot of people out there that'll say, well, you know, you need this, and they'll, they'll probably quote you this super expensive price. And by the way, why don't you get us to install it for you? You know, then they'll go that route. So it's easy for someone to falsely assume that eliminating dead spots within their home or office may be cost prohibitive. But if you're like me, you know, check it out. Check out what I used. Again, it's that little box, not the box from the internet service provider but this little thing that plugs into the wall, to the power, and then it can either A, communicate wirelessly with the box that your internet provider provided, or B, it can plug in, if you've got a network jack, plug it in and let it talk wired, and, uh, and then create a wireless access point for that dead spot in your, in your, in your home or your business. And I've got a, uh, also when you check the link within this video's description, I've got an installation video there, and that explains how I set mine up. So if you're on the fence about it, if you think it may be too complicated, check out my other video. You know, tell me what you think. Eliminating wireless dead spots does not have to be overly complicated.
And most people, even with a minimal amount of IT knowledge, next to no IT knowledge, you know, if you can watch a video, you may be able to figure it out. So check the link within this video's description, watch my installation video, ask yourself, do you think you're capable of doing it? And if you think you may be, maybe it's worth a shot. You know, you can find the wireless uh, range extender that I use there. It's, it's, I, I felt that it was inexpensive, and it does the job. Uh, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe, youtube.com forward slash irixguy. Y'all have a good day. Hey y'all, Irix Guy here. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to subscribe, like, and share. It's viewers like you that enable my channel to continue to grow. Thank you.